In this video, what I'd like to do is calculate how fast or the orbital velocity of Mars as it revolves around the Sun. Now, if this is the planet Mars out here not drawn to scale, we know that the velocity of Mars is in this direction. It's tangential to the orbit it actually travels. And what we're looking for is what the actual orbital velocity is. And we're going to look for it in units of miles per hour. What you can do is look up the average distance between the Sun and Mars, and what that would give you is 1.52 astronomical units. So that's the average distance between the Sun and Mars. A few other bits of information that we actually know is we know that as Mars gets closer and closer and closer to the Sun, the velocity actually increases. The velocity is going to increase, and as it's moving away from the Sun, the velocity is actually going to decrease. So what we're really looking for is the average velocity of the planet Mars as it revolves around the Sun. To come up with an order of magnitude calculation, we're going to assume that the orbit of Mars is circular. That is, it moves around the Sun in a circular orbit. This is just going to simplify our calculations. Now, the first thing I'd like to know is how far away from the how far away is Mars from the sun? So we said that Mars is 1.52 astronomical units away from the sun. So about one and a half times the distance between the sun and the earth. So we know that one astronomical unit is going to be equivalent to 93 million or 93 times 10 to the 6 miles. So this is going to be our conversion factor. And what this is going to be doing is taking us from units of astronomical units two units of miles. So this astronomical unit cancels out with this astronomical unit. And when you do this number out, when you do 1.52 times 93 million, you get about 1.4 times 10 to the eighth miles. Now that's this distance here. We know that for the planet Mars to revolve around the sun once, it has to follow a circular path. So the distance that Mars travels as it revolves around the sun is not just going to be equal to this distance. It's going to be equal to the circumference of a circle or in this case 2 pi times the radius, which in this case is 1.4 times 10 to the 8th miles. So to find the distance, it's going to be 2 pi times 1.4 times 10 to the 8th miles. Now one of the other assumptions that we're going to make is that, is that Mars revolves around the Sun at constant velocity. So we can use the relationship that says the velocity is going to equal the distance traveled divided by the time it takes to travel that distance. Now again, assuming constant velocity. Now in this case, Mars is going to travel 2 pi times 1.4 times 10 to the 8th miles as it revolves around the sun. And if you were to look up in a data table, the time it takes for Mars to make this one revolution around the sun is going to be 687 Earth days. Now when we multiply 2 pi times 1.4 times 10 to the 8th miles, we get 8.9 times 10 to the 8th miles. And we're going to divide that out by 687 days. And when we do this division out, we get about 1.3 times 10 to the 6 miles per day. And now what we're going to do finally is convert this units of miles per day over to units of miles per hour. So if we have 1.3 times 10 to the 6 miles per day, we're going to multiply by a conversion factor. And in this case, I know that one day has 24 hours. So what you should see is that this unit a day cancels out with this unit a day. And when you do that, you do 1.3 times 10 to the 6 miles divided by 24 hours, which works out to be about 53,868 miles per hour. So the average orbital velocity of Mars is going to be about 53,868 miles per hour. But again, we know that the velocity actually increases and decreases as the distance between Mars and the Sun increases or decreases. 